hi everyone welcome back to the react chess video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the component did mount lifecycle method so before going to start i'm just going to show you that how actual life cycles of react is working so when a component is loaded first of all the constructor will be called after that component did mount will be called uh, actually component did mount is depreciated but uh, you can still use this uh, life cycle method if you want all right and after that the render method render method as you know uh, here you can put your html uh, and jsx here all right and after that uh, component did bound will be called when your constructor is ready uh, the constructor will be come on here like this all right when your constructor is ready and your html dom is ready then a uh, component did mount will be called and if there any updation is there like if you want to call an api and something else then you can call here and after that render will be called again and after that it will check that if uh, still component did mount is to have any update if yes then component will uh, render method will be called again if there is a no update then this method will not going to be called all right so now let's see that uh, how actually life cycle works with a small example and the consoles all right so first of all i'm just going to console something here console dot one by constructor all right and i'm just going to pick the two more constructor here uh sorry two more consoles here uh one in the render and one in the component did mount where is component did mount here it is all right and just going to console dot one and here you can just check that component did mount and now let's check inside the console of your browser what method is called first of all and what method is called at the last i'm just going to okay so yep uh, i need to call a like, super method here inside the constructor all right so now let's check inside the console so now you can see that first of all component did uh com constructor is be called after that the render method is called and after that the component did mount will called so let's say i'm just going to update any state here i'm just going to take a state here this dot set state this dot state and my state name is data and first of all it's false all right and i'm just inside this method i'm just going to update it as two this dot set state data is true like two now let's check the method again now you can see that first of all constructor is called then render is called then component did mount is called and after that because we have some update updation here the render method is called again all right so this is the following the same process first of all this method is called this is depreciated so i'm just not going to show you render called and construct uh, component did mount is called and if there is some operation with the state or with the props and ev everything is happened here then render method is called again and you can see that inside the con inside the console here so the conclusion is if you want to call some external data like you want to call the api and something else then you have to put inside the component in mount because uh, inside that maybe you want to put some data inside your dom elements but if your dom element is not ready then how you can put the data all right and dom dom uh, component did mount is always called after the dom is ready so this is the perfect life cycle for your api calls and remote calls so thanks for watching this video if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks to all